Hi guys, Adam McCola here. I am with my mate House and we're outside Old, Tra Old Trafford. Nah. Where are we? <laughs> We're outside St. Mary's where Manchester United have beaten Southampton 3-2 thanks to Toto Martial. It's only you call him that, you know. And his missus. Allegedly. <laughs> what, what do you want me to do? What's the questions you've got? Talk to the people at home. All right, okay. Um, first half, a little bit of same old, same old day. What's going on? Uh, have we really got it most for the most of the first half. Sort of holding possession, not really penetrating again. Once we started to inject a little bit of pace, once I think we started to understand the runs Martial could make, once we started to take a f***ing risk, we opened them up. I love the way you censored yourself there, but it's yeah. very true. It is. Risk is the only thing that Lou van Gaal's sides have lacked. They're, they're safety first, and maybe we needed that. Maybe we need that with the wholesale changes that's happening to the playing staff and to the club under him. Maybe we do need to be safety first rather than like a Kevin Keegan side where you just go out and get beat 7-4. Mm. <laughs> so maybe it is a good thing in the long run. What we saw second half though, uh, actually let's let's go back a bit. So let's hey, go to the first. You mentioned how like we've lost that flair, that risk, but didn't Sir Alex Ferguson towards the end of his Manchester United reign as manager tighten things up a little bit and have to adapt? Yes and no because in his last season he just went bananas, didn't he? And he just was like, I think one of his team talks like was, I'm 72 and I'm bored, uh, go and entertain me. <laughs> I was up for a team talk. So I think at some stages, yeah, he did. He did, uh, especially like, he says he never sent a team out to be defensive. Well, I remember the Barcelona game in 2008 where we did a job on them away from home. Mm. And then we brought them back and we got the win at home. Now that was a defensive performance. So Fergie's like papering over his own history there by saying that he never sent a team out to do that because he did. And, and he did that several times, especially in the latter stages of his career. But yeah, that last season where he went behind, I don't know, like 13 times and won. Yeah. That's mental. And yeah, that was, I mean, we're getting way off track here, but whatever. Talking about going behind and winning. Yeah, we've done that. We haven't done that very we, much recently. I don't even remember if we've done that under Van Gaal, to be honest. I couldn't Probably. tell you. I don't know. Did we do it against Everton? Mate, I've, I've slept since then. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, back on to what we were saying. It's been um, much more risk-taking in the second half and once we started to take risks once we started to run with the ball at our feet Memphis Martial especially looked like they could just carve a team open at will Mata started really to find his feet back. that's what I want to ask someone today I didn't want to ask everyone here because I get told are oh, you always on Rooney's back when right. to be honest I backed Rooney when a lot of people didn't right but right is it's, it's not back? a yes or no question there's, there's too many facets to this question there's too many we possible... Were, we were saying during the game, weren't we? Has he been told to do this professional, doing the job, well, sideways, lose the passing ball. role? He did not lose the ball. Or is he You would expect a number 10 to be more... Um, Risky. More creative. <laughs> you would expect word, yeah. a, more, a number 10 to be more creative, which is why he's better as a number 10 than a number 9. Because there was a, there was a time that I said to you in the middle of the game that Martial was stood on the shoulder of the defender and he dragged the defensive line backwards and Rooney was somewhere near the halfway line. And I said, when Rooney's number 9, that's still what he does as a number 9. And Martial has created this space just by his movement and made that space in between. That's where we've lacked penetration, is that final third, because everyone's always too compact and too tight. Now, once we've been able to break fast a couple of occasions here tonight, uh, there was one where Martial got fouled on the edge of the box, which was, uh, was a straight red for me. He was the last man. It yeah. looked like, I mean, it was at a weird angle, but it looked like he was I the last the man. I think because the game was deliberate. at that point. The referee probably thought no need. Yeah. But Martial, he's getting behind the defence. He's so confident. He's so composed. He's passing the ball into the net like it's training. <laughs> he does not look bothered, does he? A lot of strikers would have, on the turn, hooked that first one. The first one. Oh, absolutely. It wide. Absolutely. Memphis. Um, if he'd have put that goal in, people would have been coming out here talking about Memphis. Oh, he, he, have a seat, coming inside, <laughs> it was like his, his goals against Bruges. Comes inside, levers it, and you think that's home. Somehow it ricochets. Mata puts away the rebound. Mata played all right. I mean, Could that Mata... goal have taken a bit of pressure off Mata because I, I thought he didn't have the best of games today. I and thought I it was slows he was, us down a little bit at times. He was again. He was that word safe. He was safe instead of risk taking and like. We don't know how much of this is Van Gaal's orders and we don't know how much of this is inherent in the player. Um, it looks like Martial has been given like the green light to do whatever he feels like. 
Or he's just thinking. Or he just does whatever he feels like. Yeah. Anyway, it's that French thing, like. Four goals. Shh. Um, I like him and I like Memphis together because I think both of them are on the same sort of wavelength where they're looking to try something, where they're looking to create something, where they're trying to make things happen. And I don't think those two players would settle for 1-0, 2-0s, 2-1s. I think those are the sort of players that want to be on top of the game, want to be putting those balls away. So, you know, 3-1, 2. <laughs> two, two points three, behind two, City. Two points behind City who've been the best team ever since Barcelona won everything. So we're not in a bad position. We're not going to get carried away, but you do have to get a little bit giddy with Martial, I think. You, you've got to, haven't you? You've got to get giddy with that. I mean, He's the man. what's he going to do next week? Get with Sunderland? Oh, mate. 